Seth Money right. Brown, Mary. Right. Smith Jr. My boy Money Brown, he get a lot of money. That's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> yeah. What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I just want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Hey, Ryan Garcia here. Shout out to Money Brown TV. And uh, keep punching, baby. Yo, 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 what's going on? I thought fight. What is your boy Money back with another one, man? And this one here is on some legendary champion in this in this boxing game. We got Aaron Mike Tyson, the legendary heavyweight world champion. We all know Mike was the youngest heavyweight to ever do it. Then we got Canelo Alvarez, the hottest fighter on the planet, the four division world champion, the unified super middleweight world champion, looking to be the undisputed champion when he take on Caleb Plant, the IBF super middleweight world champion, undefeated Nashville star. Now Mike Tyson came out and he's telling Canelo Alvarez to fuck Caleb Plant up. I want y'all to listen to what Mike Tyson had to say and I'll be back with the great assessment family. He gonna get clocked. He was going to shock the world. He's going to listen. I hope he wins. This ain't huh? poor. This, listen, uh, he's going to get so fucked you, you up. Plan, you think Care Plant has, has a chance with Canelo? I mean, anything, anything's possible boxing, with two anything, people. No, anything yeah. can happen, but, but let's say the odds, beings, everybody's on the I mean, he has to write style. This guy's gonna and he's, he's, he's a friend him. of ours, so I hope, I hope he Look, he, look, he look how funny he is. He's your friend. You're going to his funeral. And... And he don't have the experience, nah, but, I, but, I, but I believe he got the, the right style, though. Look at him. Pretty. He's white. He can oh, box. He's look, slick. Oh, look at, he look like some Floyd Mayweather shit. He look at him. Look at him. Slick. Up. Slick. <laughs> slick. Wait till that motherfucking start hitting that body. Yeah. Alvarez hit different. that motherfucking body. Yeah. Oh, something that's crazy. different. Can I now, as y'all see, man, Mike Tyson come out and say, wait till that motherfucker Alvarez hit that body. <laughs> Listen, bro. They not gonna like this, bro. They not gonna like it. I'm telling y'all, man. I'm not just talking, bro. The great heavyweight, the legendary Mike Tyson. He's telling y'all that Caleb Plant's gonna get fucked up. But let me guess. Mike Tyson a hater too, right? <laughs> let me guess. Mike Tyson a sellout too, right? Yeah. These are nothing but facts, man. These are nothing but facts, man. Yeah, what he say? It look like some Floyd Mayweather shit. He's gonna get fucked up. Man, Canelo finna fuck that boy up, bro. Canelo fit a fuck that boy up, bro. Aaron Mike know what he talking about. Aaron Mike know what he see. You know what I mean? He know Canelo ain't no motherfucking joke. He know Canelo the baddest motherfucker doing it right now, bro. Gotta give him his just doing his credit, bro. Gotta give him his just doing his credit. Look at them body shots. Look at that shit, Canelo. Man, look, man. It's gonna get ugly for Caleb Plant, bro. It's gonna get ugly for Caleb Plant, bro. Yeah, Caleb Plant, he said you slick. He said you pretty. He said you white. You know what I mean? Um, Balu Jack said, you don't have the experience, but you got the style. You don't have the experience, but you got the style. You dig? So they believe in your boxing style. It's the style to go out there and trouble Canelo Alvarez and give him all these problems and frustrate him. And then you come back and you're going to beat him. So you got some people that believe in you, Caleb. Even though you say you don't want nobody to believe in you. You don't need nobody to go for you. This, that, and that, and this. Right? You in for one hell of a fight, bro. I don't know if you really know, Caleb, what you in for. You did? I don't really know. You know what? You do know what you in for. I ain't going to even say you that stupid. I ain't going to even say you that stupid. You're a smart man, Caleb. You're a very smart man. You understand? You know exactly what you in for. But you're trying to psych yourself out. You're trying to trick that Caden Plant mind out that you just going to her with a normal fighter. You just going to her with what a motherfucking another Caleb Truex or or Figgin Butts or Mike Lee E. Fresh. That's what you believe. You think you got your stupid little stool in front of you that just come to try to knock you out. That's what you think, huh, Caleb? You're trying to psych yourself out. Well, you better listen to the great Iron Mike Tyson when he tell you you about to get fucked up. And then what Mike tell Bottle Jack? Oh, that's your friend? Or oh, you're going to his funeral? <laughs> come on, man. He laughing, but he's telling the truth, fam. He laughing, but he's telling the fucking truth. And the truth is, Caleb Plant can't hang with Canelo on no level. Oh, no level, bro. None. We see Canelo working his ass off. We see Canelo putting in the hard work. We see Canelo lifting the weights. We seeing Canelo laying bombs on the water bag, bro. Bombs on the water bag. And you got him pissed off. You got him pissed off to the point to where... He's working even harder to go out here to make a statement. He's working even harder to go out here and make a statement, bro. 
And once you put Canelo Alvarez in that mind state, in that mind frame, and make him take his shit to the next, next, next level, oh, man, you in trouble, bro. You in trouble. I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of game plan Caleb Plant coming out here trying to fight. I'm looking forward to seeing if Caleb Plant is a man that's going to stand right there and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Canelo at times. You don't have to stand there every time. I'm not saying go out there and be stupid and be a rock and sock and robot. <laughs> I know that's a death sentence to you, right? But what I'm saying is, do you have the guts to sit there with Canelo? Will you have the guts to sit there with Canelo when it's time? When it's time, Caleb. You know what I'm saying? You got to show me, bro. You're going to have to show me, bro. Because we know if you sit your ass right there with Canelo Alvarez, what is he going to do to what, Mike? That motherfucking body. Wait till he hit that body. Mike, even though Canelo motherfucking body punches are vicious. You know what I'm saying? Body punches are vicious, bro. And something that Caleb Plant never felt before. Caleb never felt that before. Now, like I said, Caleb will come out. He will have some success early on, right? He might get a couple rounds in the bag. But once Canelo start laying them bitches on him, land, 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 land them bitches on him, yeah, everything's going to change. Everything. Even the coach advice probably changed. Caleb, listen, I felt that body punch, right? I, I got to tell you something. You, you don't stand a chance now. You don't stand a chance. So my advice to you is, Try to survive, Caleb. Try to survive. If you go 12 rounds, everyone's out there going to give you a more victory. They're going to give you a more victory. Just last 12 rounds, Caleb. Please do it for me, Caleb. Just last 12. That's it. That's it. Last 12 rounds, get a more victory so these cats can run around here. Well, we all know that Canelo went 12 rounds with Caleb. He said he was going to knock him out on the eight. What happened? What happened? Canelo power isn't really all that. If Caleb Plant had power, he would have beat Canelo. So many goddamn nerds are going to come out, y'all. I'm, I'm just, man, I can't wait. I can't wait, bro. As long as Canelo hand get raised and we hear a new, undisputed, super middleweight champion of the world, Canelo Alvarez, that's all I'm looking for. Since they looking for more victory, that's all I'm looking for, bro. That's it, that's all. That's it, that's all. You understand? Even though I know Canelo Figar hurt and put an ass whooping on this man, that's it, that's all, family. You did. Mike Tyson is laying y'all know now, bro. He laughing, but he dead ass serious. Caitlin Plant don't stand a chance against Canelo Alvarez. The masses know it. The fans know it. The haters know it. The hypocrites know it. The naysayers know it. Even the goddamn kids know it. You did. This man don't stand a chance with Canelo Alvarez, bro. Two different skill sets. Two different talents. Two different levels. Right? We got a four-division world champion against a one-division world champion. It's no knock on Caleb because some fighters have never become world champion. Right? But we got a man with all the experience in the world with a man with a little bit of experience under his belt. We got a man with real knockout power to a man that got okay power, right, against certain opponents. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like, man, everything just, it's just different, bro. It's just different. And Caitlin Plant, stop making all these excuses, man. I, I wish they would have asked Mike, sorry, I wish they would have asked Mike Tyson about all the excuses that Caitlin Plant is making up. All the excuses that Caitlin Plant making up and what does that does for Caitlin Plant. Mike Tyson will tell you does nothing for him. Nothing. He's crying like a little bitch. He need to stop crying and train. Because Canelo Alvarez is training. And once Canelo get him in the ring, he's not going to fuck about excuses. He'll give a fuck about excuses. All Canelo gives a fuck about is going in there and fucking killing you. And putting you in a fucking casket. That's all he cares about. So if you want to step there and make fucking excuses and point the fingers, they don't get in the fucking ring. You know what I'm saying? So that's all we're saying, Caleb. If you're going to point the finger, if you're going to cry like a little girl, if you're going to make an excuse every time somebody stick a microphone in front of your fucking face, don't get into the ring, man. Don't get into the ring. But we all know why you get into the ring. Canelo, why is Caleb getting into the ring? Payday. He want payday. You understand? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. You're not on my level, man. You're not on my level. That's all it is to it, bro. You don't want to turn that payday down. That's why you got to keep saying every time, um, it's not about the money. Okay, if it's not about the money, then stop saying it's not about the money, shit. If it's not about the money, you don't have to continue to say it's not about the money. You don't. You don't. You said it before. Okay, we get it. Caden Plant's not fighting for the money, y'all. He's fighting for legacy. He's fighting to be the face of boxing. Even though he wouldn't fight unless he got $10 million. But he's not fighting for money, y'all. He's fighting because Canelo Alvarez is, is the greatest fight that he's ever faced in his life. And he know if he beat Canelo Alvarez, that would be the un-impossible. Right? The un-impossible. Instead of something that's impossible. Because something that's unimpossible is something that you're not supposed to conquer, right? So you're not supposed to conquer Canelo Alvarez. So that's unimpossible to you, Caleb. So you give Canelo all the credit in the world, but you won't give him his credit. You want to deny everything. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's some sucker shit. And I'm going to continue to say that that's some sucker shit. But like Mike Tyson said, he's going to fucking clock you. <laughs> he's going to clock you. He's going to fuck you up. You understand? And you're going to be in survival mode. You're not going to try to show it. But you're going to be in survival mode, Caleb. You're going to be trying to last. You're going to be trying to make sure Canelo don't knock your ass out. And that's just a fact of the matter, my brother. That's just a fact of the matter. Because Canelo hit with a different type of power. And Canelo come with a different type of pressure. So at the end of the day, you better know what you want to do inside that square circle. And stop making up all these goddamn excuses looking for some goddamn sympathy. Because you're not getting any, bro. You're not getting any sympathy, bro. Period. You understand? Period. November 6th is on the way. The, the, the masses is telling you that you're getting your ass beat. You know you're getting your ass beat. As much as you try to say you're going to do this, that, and the third. But you're just trying to hold on, my brother. You're just trying to hold on. And I get it. Embarrassment is a motherfucker. Embarrassment is a motherfucker, but it's nothing you can do about it because what? You signed a contract. You signed a dollar line. And guess what, Caleb? You're in trouble, my friend. Trouble. Caleb, I'm coming for you. Yeah, Caleb Plant, I'm coming. November the 6th is on his way, y'all. Mike Tyson say Canelo go fuck him up. I say Canelo go fuck him up. Y'all say Canelo go fuck him up. Guess what, y'all? Canelo go fuck him up. And that's that. Until then, this your boy Monty. It's the NSBC moving. Ain't nobody safe in these streaks. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You want to donate? OG Money on Cash App. Trey have to 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. Y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.